area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Man, let me tell you something, okay? Gnome Eleven, I'm 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 th I'm thoroughly satisfied. I, I got I, I gotta be real with you. I'm thoroughly satisfied. You know, things went down in the way that I thought that they was gonna go down. Um, you know, some things I might have been right about, some things I might have been wrong about. But what I will talk about is this last battle. Let's get into that. What's your good, y'all? It's your boy, Showtime. That's Peter. Nobody that knows body. Pow! I'm slipping up on the intro, but I'm never going to slip up with this info. Vada, you done bit me with the bug. I'm rhyming now. Let me tell y'all niggas something, man. Tay Rock versus Chilla Jones, the main event, the last battle of the night, it went down. I'm not going to lie to y'all, man. I thought the battle was good. I thought the battle itself was good is it fire first and second round absolutely first and second round niggas was cooking tay rock was cooking chilla jones with the with the bars oh my god it, it they they was swigging the first and the second round rock is back y'all if this the rock we gonna get i'm cool with it if this the rock that we gonna rock with i'm rocking with it <sighs> man listen but chilla chilla Chill, chill. I like what you doing, and you be doing what you be doing. You keep breaking the code. You keep breaking the system. I like that. Keep that same energy, chill. Keep that same energy. But when you do an angle, it got to hit, bro. It just got to hit the way that it need to hit. And, and I just feel like it, it wasn't hitting the way it was supposed to. I'm just, I'm going to keep it real with you. I got to keep it tall with y'all. I'm not actually tall, so I got to keep it tall. That's all. I'm just trying to be real with y'all. That Chilla Jones' third round about uh, Lady Caution and, you know, the cheating and how Rock be looking at other girls. and You know what I mean? Like, I don't really like that like that. That's just me, though. You know what I'm saying? I'll just, that's just me personally. Now, what I did like in your third round was the whole Attitude Era scheme. And you was naming niggas in the Attitude Era. And he had the, the Road Dog and he had the Rock. I could smell what Rock was. I was rocking with it. But you could tell that 70% of them niggas didn't get none of that shit, each other. Like, the crowd was just what they wasn't with it. And, and, and I could agree with them if they feel that way. The only round to me that I think is the clearest round is the third. If y'all feel as though that maybe that round may be the definitive round and that's what y'all give Tay Rock the win, I'm not mad at y'all niggas that do that. But is this battle worth spending a block? Absolutely. I'm going to have to spend a block on this one too. I got a lot of work to do. It's a lot of battles that I need to do and, 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 and not a lot of time to do it. So I'm going to do what I need to do. Overall, I think Gnome 11 was fire. I mean, it, it wasn't fire. It's definitely smokable. I'm, I'm smoking all... The rest of the night was fire. From T-Rex and, and Easy on, I was lit. I was already in. You know what I'm saying? I was very disappointed with Danny Myers and Real Sick. I was only upset with Jaden Nightwing's first round, but I do think Jaden Nightwing versus Ab was a dope-ass battle, too. B-Dot versus DNA. That battle can go either way, but I can understand if niggas saying DNA won because I feel like DNA won that battle. Mike P versus Luke Castro. Mike P has levels, bro. He has levels. He has levels. Luke Castro has things that he need to work on, but he still need to be at this level. I like it. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Now, what do I think is some fire bullshit is the fact that Loso and Jerry West and Fonz versus JC by far had one of the best face-offs. In a while, like I was very excited about that one. Other than the, if we did face offs, it's Rex and Easy face off, and and JC and Fonz face off, and then you got the Cass City and the Hitman face off. That was good too. Like I like all of those, but JC and Fonz, they was talking spicy to each other. I really wanted to see that battle. I think we should have saw that battle. That should have came on. It should have did something, but it didn't. Um, needless to say, I was still impressed. Um, with the fact that you know. Uh, Geechee and Rum Nitty actually got, they split the money, no matter how they was going to go down. I figured it was going to go that way. I mean, if, I do 
you know, I can't say it's bullshit or it's horny or anything like that because at the end of the day, it's still a, it's still 75k they got split. So, um, about 50,000 more than what they gave the other contestants is what I'm saying. And Drake wasn't there for y'all niggas. You know what I'm saying? But I appreciate y'all niggas for reaching out. You know what I'm saying? But T-Rex, T-Rex need to chill. And, and I, I, you know what? And, and another thing, and another thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, Chilla, I didn't like the fact that you didn't have a hat on. You, you need a hat on. You, you need a hat on. I didn't like them glasses. You gave me supermarket. Oh, he's still in vibes. That's that. They, they, that's exactly what you was giving me. But you gave me dad with the Bluetooth and four kids in a stroller vibe. I didn't. I, Rock is scary, though. I'm just saying. Rock is scary. Rock from back. We're going to get some heat on that shit. Bow, nigga. Bow, nigga. Bow. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You already know what it is, man. Salute to every single one of y'all out there that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. You had Chilla Jones versus Tay Rock. Chilla Jones versus Tay Rock. Now, this battle happened after the $100,000 battle, so you know a lot of the people was going to see whether the energy was going to still be there, whether Rock was going to be able to bring it. You know what I'm saying? Was Chilla Jones going to be able to? What, what was we in for? I will tell you this, man. Like... These guys came out to fight, like even after all of the hype, the big money battle and all that. Tay Rock comes out in his first round. All my niggas Sapphire and they in the go, out of my cruise control. Hit chill, I got this. Hit chill back, hit chill back, I got this. Uh, sweet as chocolate, to put you in a Herschel kiss shoe. Uh, make the skin peel off a of wrapper. It's the caffeine water bottle, you know, and then he picked up the water bottle because I guess it didn't have no skin on it. Uh, the Keltec fold and close like sandwich bags. Rock had a lot of energy in his first round. Um, Rock picked up towards the end of his first round, but you know what I'm saying? Chilla Jones comes out in his first and he's like Sue Bird. Like he gave, he did some shit where he did like a scheme, like let the fans pick what which way I'm going to go about it, you know what I'm saying? He said, Sue Bird going to push rock. I ain't here to play with you. Now that I got shine behind me, I'm back lit. Leave you right on Delonte. Leave you on Delonte. I thought that was fire. Uh, grab this man collar and rock in the hole. You know, the man collar drop rock in the hole. I thought that was fire. Only time rock come with a pump is an infusion. You going to leave no mad and find a new place to live. Um, Chilla Jones' first round was solid, man. I'm not gonna lie. He had a lot of punches. His cadence was up. His bars was there. He was definitely heavy on the gas. Like, not gas, like reacting to bad bars, but he was right at rock the whole first round. I love what Chilla Jones was doing. He had cadence. He had a good charisma. Rock had some solid shit, too, but I, I had Chilla Jones win the first round. That's just me. I want to flip it though. I'm going to the third, man. Rock third round to me, I felt like was the best individual round of the whole battle by any side. Yo, that third round, yo, you was in your bag. Like, that was probably his best round since maybe like the second verse. Hot. This nigga's third round was very, very crazy. I wasn't even recording the battle because, you know what I'm saying, I was just had, had some other shit. So, but when I see it halfway through his third, I'm like, yo, I need to catch some of this. I'm going to have to get somebody to send me the joint. But um, Smack put DNA on chill. It was cryogenics. Uh, put your seed in the dirt. We making homegrown. Uh, you fight fair. I bring a gun to a fist fight. A bitch wouldn't, would talk to an air conditioner before she bring chill out the vent. Yo, he is talking to this man in the third round. You are boring. A bitch would talk to an air conditioner before she bring chill out the vent. Uh, your head gonna open up like an oyster. You won't move a muscle. Make everyone feel this kick back at chill spot. Bullets stuck in the pen that give 25 to life. Uh, chill in the head, brain freeze. Like, Rock was wild in his third. He was on some other mother shit in his third. Uh, chill is third. Bro, I didn't like the angle. I'm just keeping it all the way tall. I did not like the angle. Uh, you know, talking about uh, 
even Superman should have knew Rock was his weakness. He was talking about Av, like Av being a Superman, should have knew the Rock was his weakness. Then he does his angle about his girl and saying you a fucking bitch behind her back. And I, I just, I don't know, like, like, I don't know what was up with the third round angle. Chill, I did not like your third round angle. Um, your aura is missing. Gangster Jimmy Hoffa. Uh, your your aura is missing, Gangster Jimmy Hoffa. I'm known for taking out Shine. He's known for getting Shine took off him. Uh, they get to choose which round I use, but not you, Holmes. Chilla Jones' third round was just okay. It was, to me, I had Rock winning the third round. Totally clear. So I got Chilla winning the first. I got Rock winning the um, third. Uh, take it to the second round. Uh, Rock, second round. Uh, nobody told the Pentagon. The Pentagon, watch out. Uh, rocked in the cave, dumped out like Indiana Jones. Rock had a lot of bars and shit in his second round too. Chilla had a lot of energy in his second too. Uh, let's make this body electrifying for Chilla. Uh, you know how good I am at this. That was fire, Chilla. You know how good I am at this. That shit was crazy. Uh, Smack gonna give you a cracker, but you ain't want. You ain't wanted with Pat Tay. You ain't wanted with Pat Tay. You know what I'm saying? I thought that that was actually pretty fire. Um, overall, it's a dope battle, though, man. It is definitely a dope battle. On my first watch, and I seen from the fan vote, the fan vote had Tay Rock winning like 6,000 to 2,000. That thing, that is a far, far cry from how how good the battle actually was. I do have Tay Rock winning the second and third round. That's just my personal preference. I got to watch this shit again. But I, I, the third round just stuck out so much because it was a gap in the third as far as what Rock had and as far as what Chilla had. Like his, his material in the third just did not resonate well. I don't know why. I just, like his third verse shine was way better than this third. And it's just for me, I don't know, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, and I, you know, to keep it a buck, I gotta be honest. And, uh, you know, I, I felt Chilla's first was crazy. His second was fire. Um, Rock's first was good. His second was better. His third was the craziest of the round. It's like they went reverse. It's like Chilla started here. Went here, then down there. Rock started like here, went there, and then there. So it's going to be super debatable. Niggas is going to have a debatable however they want to call it or whatever the case may be. Overall, I thought it was a dope battle. Uh, I will watch it again. I will holla at my bootleg connects to like spin the block and like throw me some, throw me some, throw me a dog. You know what I'm saying? Throw me a biscuit. I need to see that again. Um, overall, very, very good night. A lot of good battles on there. Only battle was, uh, yeah, Danny. I, I, my nigga Danny pulled the Bruce Brown on us. I don't know what the fuck that was about. But salute to the subscribers at Notification Gang. If you respect the handle, make sure you subscribe to the channel. The gang, 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 gang.